Hello everyone, welcome again to another video. So today I am going to uh, do a manicure using the colors from the May Diva Box. Uh, so this Diva Box is from Triple D and these are the colors that came with it and I am so excited because these are really my favorite colors. So I am also going to show you this new precision tool and uh, we'll be also doing some fun uh, 3D nail stamp. So I just did a fresh fill of the clear builder gel which will be available tomorrow and uh, yeah I did a video make sure to check it out. So I applied already the peel base and it's now time to start with the manicure. I will be starting with a solid color this one is Diva Dip 19. So I am just applying triple D dip base and I am going to pour the powder on top of this nail and I have this yellow cupcake liner to cut those extra dip powders so if you don't want to dip your finger on your jar you can do the pour over method so that you will also have no lumps and bumps when you do this one then using the newest precision tool from Tripoli I am just going to use that one to clean the sides of my nails so this new Tripoli D precision tool is going to be available for purchase tomorrow at the Tripoli D website together with the new colors of their builder gel so make sure to check them out so again I am just applying the same color on my pinky finger clean the cuticle area and then dust off all the excess powders So I will no longer show you the entire process but for the pinky I did two layers and for my ring finger I did three layers of Diva Dip 19. So I am just uh, dusting off the excess and here it is. And moving on to the next color, this one is Diva Dip 21 and it has that nice metallic sheen to it. It is super gorgeous so I am going to put that on my pointer finger. This is my first time using this one and I noticed that uh, it is more of a sea glass type of color. So you can stay sheer or you can also build the colors which I did in this nail. I did three dips. And I am going to move on now to my glitter. This is Diva Dip 20 and it is super duper nice. So look how pretty is that. I'm just going to do three layers and this is after I did that and now I'm going to move on with my thumb. I will be doing an ombre of coconut mojito and diva dip 21.
since I started with the coconut mojito a while ago, I am now going to start with the uh, blue one, Diva Dip 21. You just want to alternate this one so that you will achieve a nice gradient effect. This is my third and final layer. I'm just going to dust off all the excess powder and here it is. So this is after applying all the colors. Let me just clear and encapsulate all of them off cam. And uh, after that, I am now going to apply Triple D Activator. So I am just going to let this dry and then do my filing and shaping off cam and here it is. So after filing and now let's begin with the 3D stamping. So Triple D recently released their stamping and it is included in their April Diva box. So I'm just going to incorporate this one on my manicure and will be using some chromes as well. This is the Triple D 3D Molding Gel. We will use that one later. And of course, for the tools, this is their Slice and Brush Tool Ended Tool from Triple D as well. So let me just apply again Gel Base. So this is going to serve as your uh, sticky base when you apply the 3D Molding Gel. So make sure that you leave a tacky layer and I'm just going to um, like cure it in the lamp for about 30 seconds and then I am now going to get some of the 3d molding gel using the slice tool I am just going to get a pea size just enough to cover the entire nail and I'm just going to roll it on my nails to warm it up so this one is not sticky, so it's like a rubber clay type of um, thing. <laughs> so I just added some because I think the one that I got is not enough. So yeah, sorry I forgot to click the record button again, but I just uh, spread it to my entire nail and without curing, get your 3D stamping like silicone mat and I'm just going to roll it over my nail and this is how it looks like so I am just pressing the sides and make sure that there are no um, molding gel on those parts and I am now going to get this peacock powder from Triple D as well so I am going to chrome the top part This peacock powder comes with a brush as well so I am just taking some from the cap. You actually don't need a lot and I am just painting the molding gel. As much as possible, I am not touching or chroming the color, the my base color. I am just focusing painting the chrome on the gel part or on the 3D part. So it looks like that and I am going to ombre it with another color of peacock powder also from Triple D and uh, apply it again to the upper part.
here it is it is super pretty so I'm just going to cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds and after curing this is how it looks like so let me just do another design on my pinky finger so as usual start with applying gel base and cure it in the lamp for 30 seconds in here I am just trying to create a shape of a mermaid tail because the mat doesn't come with that design so I am just using the slice tool to maneuver the gel To remove unnecessary like fingerprints on the 3D molding gel, I am just rolling this tool to remove that and afterwards I am going to use again this, the same design from the silicone mat and uh, roll it on my finger. <laughs> And then make sure you fix everything and put it back to its original um, shape before you do the chrome part. So after making sure that everything is okay, I am now going to fully cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds. After curing, let me just do again my thumb. I am going to apply a gel base again and cure it for 60 seconds or for 30 seconds. So after applying the 3D molding gel, I am going to use this shell and stamp it on my thumb. So for the extra molding gel that squeezed out since we press the, the plate or the silicone plate on top of it, I am not removing it. I am just using the slice tool to kind of push it and uh, shape it. And after I did that, I am going to use this gold chrome. This one is triple D D14 chrome and I'll be applying it on top of the shell design. So I am still not curing that design because I want to add a little star so I am just uh, getting some of the 3D molding gel again and apply it to the 
tip part of my nail and press that small uh, star shape so I just use the slice tool to shape the star and after that I am going to apply the same gold chrome So the tendency is that the molding gel will flatten so don't worry you can just use your slicer tool to kind of carve again the design so after that I am now going to fully cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds so this is after I did all those stamping and it's now time to apply top coat I am going to use this triple D delicate 2-in-1 gel base and top coat And then fully cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds and after curing it is now time to apply the cuticle oil this one is from scales of a mermaid And this is the finished look. I am really loving the design of this mani. It is perfect for the summer. So if you also want to purchase these products that I use, I will be putting all the links in the description box. And yeah, thank you so much again for watching and I appreciate you guys. Make sure to a like or give this video a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. So thank you so much again and I'll see you again next time. Bye! 